Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing or rather unpouching video to share with you guys. So I know what these are and uh, this was sent to me by uh, Levon of the Knife Nuts podcast. Some of you may have noticed I always link them down in like every video description because the podcast is awesome. They also do really cool exclusives, uh, many of which I've actually collected in my personal collection. Um, and uh, they do really cool sort of imports uh, on their website as well. So I'm going to link them right down below. You guys can check these out and other things. Thanks so much to Knife Nuts Podcast for sending these in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. So the reason that these are already out is because I was only expecting one thing and he sent me some other stuff. And so I did a little bit of research and figured out what it was so that, uh, you know, I could share it with you guys. This is not a review, just going to be, just going to be just sort of a, let you guys know the review for this guy is actually coming. This is one that we have seen, except uh, he sent me the all black one. This is the Arcona Buran or Buran, um, which I very much like. It has the GTC. I don't know what they call this. It's like a. It's like a. I mean, it's a frame lock, but you can see there. It's not. It doesn't expose all the way out to the edge of the frame. It sort of sinks into its own little area right there. These are awesome. The action is awesome. Um, really, really. Enjoying that one. You guys probably saw the unboxing for that, so I don't want to go into too much detail there. The ones that I was not expecting, and maybe maybe Levon said something, you know, if if you're watching right now, maybe you said something and I just forgot or wasn't <laughs> I just wasn't paying attention. Um, but I think we've got a couple of examples here, yeah. So this, oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is the Arcona Jerry Jerry. G-E-R-I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, and the material that you're looking at here on the scales is Raffir Noble and something called Wasp SFX Uranium. It does glow. Uh, I would imagine if it is actually, uran I have no idea. I've absolutely, I've done zero research on this stuff, right? <laughs> I'm gonna imagine whatever it is, is safe to handle, right? Uh, so there you go. <laughs> uh, really nice front flipper. This is obviously from the same company. I believe these are, I think, oh no, this is K110. Okay, interesting. K110 steel and Raffier Noble. Uh, I wonder if this guy's different or if this is just the black one. Let's take a look here. Uh, K110 also. Is he going to show it glow in the dark? Yeah, hold on. Give me a sec. Um, where's my, let's use the... Let's use a flashlight that can put out some, some power here so that I can get it nice and charged up. We'll use the, um, yeah, we'll use this guy. Does it go brighter? There we go. Let's see what we can do. Or, you know what? I'm doing this and I'm realizing maybe it doesn't require that I do this. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! What an idiot that metal complex is. Yeah. Um, it probably glows without that. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um, let me uh, let me turn the lights off here, and let's find out. Yup, <laughs> there they go. <laughs> Does it is why was it delayed? Interesting. <laughs> hold on, I want to do it in my light. I'm watching through the camera. That's weird. It's picking it up on camera, but. It's, Oh yeah, it does. It definitely does glow in there. Okay. <laughs> Why so much more now? Whoa, this side. What the heck is going on here? This side is way more glowy. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. I have no idea if it actually requires light or not. I'm sure that somebody down in the comment section will know more than me. Or if Levon's down there, he can clarify. Very cool material. Definitely not something we see a ton of. We ha You have seen it on this channel before. Um, the first time that I experienced anything like this, and I don't know if it's exactly the same stuff, it was actually the very first custom Sharp by Design Arch Nemesis that I showed on this channel. Uh, I've had three of them, so this was a long time ago, and it's, it's actually the, the last time that I saw, well, no, there was something from Kaiser, I guess, but um, not something that we see a lot of. This is pretty cool. It's got a little flathead. I mean, the nice thing here is that this will function like a flathead. 
uh, pivot, except that it doesn't look as uh, quite as boring. The fit and finish on these is excellent. What is this say right here? That's the designer. Ivan D. Uh, I'm sorry. Is it Braganets? Braganex? Uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, these are front flippers, and can you use that little teeny tiny little fuller in there? I think maybe. Yeah, you totally can. Very lightweight, extremely lightweight. I love that these are liner locks. Are they, I wonder if they're steel or titanium. They feel, where's my magnet? There it is. It feels, this is titanium. Yeah, this is uh, this is very, very lightweight considering how much knife you are getting here. Let me see. I wanna measure it real quick. Overall length of this guy eight inches. Wow. Blade length is, is legitimately 3.6. Cutting edge is about 3.4 because of that area right there. Um, so we're looking at, you know, right around a three and a half inch blade and uh, eight inches overall, which definitely puts it in full size territory. 2.82 ounces. <laughs> yeah, I bet you balance is pretty much exactly where you're gonna put your index finger. So this thing feels incredibly lightweight. I guess, I don't know why this would be any different. Okay, apparently this one weighs 2.79 ounces. Um, yeah, these are super lightweight for what you're getting. Um, which, uh, from what I understand, and again, it's very limited, I do not know a lot about this material other than basically, like if you didn't know about this material and you just watched this video, you know as much as I do, basically. It glows and there's a the word uranium is in it. <laughs> so there you go. But seriously, from what I understand, it is plenty durable, does not expand or contract with heat or cold, which is what you want, you know, in a knife material and is plenty, you know, durable and it should be, I, I think it's fairly impact resistant unless I remember reading about a material that was not this. Um, but uh, yeah, that combined with the titanium liners, right? And this is K110, which is fancy D2. Um, that's fine. Can't say that I have an enormous amount of experience with it, but that's what I read essentially is that it is fancy D2. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Um, I like how they do the little filler slots for the pocket clip to be mounted on the other side. That's pretty cool. Um, it looks like we have, there's a little bit of a mark on that one there. Um, we've got, these are all flathead all the way around. So it should be plenty easy to adjust. I really like how that bronze comes through, uh, in this material. Sorry, my fingernails are kind of gross, but yeah, that looks, that looks pretty nice. Okay. Interesting. You will definitely, it's like I said, there's an upcoming review on this guy. If you guys have already seen the, um, the satin one or the stonewashed one, there's an all stonewashed one and all black one. I think pre-orders are still open for this. You'll definitely get a review on that, and you will also get a full comprehensive review on these guys down here. Once again, I'll make sure all this stuff is linked in the description. Thanks again to Knife Nuts Podcast for sending these in, or essentially uh, Levon. Um, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.